What is going on, beautiful folks? Today, we're going to be talking about how do narcissists know that you care? How do they know that you still care about them? How do they figure out that you still care and you have feelings for them? If you're new here, my name is Lee Hammock. I'm a self-aware narcissist, and welcome to another episode of The Narcissist Code. <laughs> I'll be bobbing y'all. I'll be bobbing behind the scenes when the intro will be going on. Mm, excuse me. But yes, y'all, how do they know that? How do they how do they just figure that you still care? You know, how do narcissists just go about, you know what? I know you still care about me. How do, how, how the hell would they go about and assume that you still care? How do they know? You know, I, I, I get this question or a form of this question a lot, y'all. A lot of people ask me this. Like, like, like how would they how do they know? How do they assume that we still care about them? Like how? Why would they think that I still care? We've been broken up for a year, two years, three years. Why the hell would they think that I still think about them? Why the hell do they think that I would still care? I was, I would ask, have you blocked them? No. That's why. That's one of the reasons why they think you still care. Because if they feel like they still have some type of access to you, they feel like you still care. Because if you didn't care, you could just block me, couldn't you? If you really didn't care about me, you could just hit that block button and we can go about our we can go about our lives, right? But I'm not blocked. So that must mean that you still have feelings for me. I'm not blocked, so that must mean that you care for me. I'm not blocked, so that must mean that um that you still want me to have access to you. If, even if you've moved on, even if I've moved on, I'm not blocked, right? So that's one that's one way that narcissists think you still care. They just assume that you still care about them because you haven't blocked them. And y'all believe we have kids. I can't block them. Even that. Even that right there. That's the mindset, the mentality of narcissistic people right there. They think that this is one of the reasons. There's more reasons I'm going to go over. But one of the reasons is they're not blocked. They still have access to you in some way, shape, or form. Y'all are still friends, right? This is what they're assuming. Y'all are still friends, so they feel like they, as long as we're still friends and keep you in my, keep you part of my life, I think you still care. Another reason why y'all, and this is another reason right here, because they still care. You know, they still care about you. And again, yeah, I gotta keep saying this. Done. I feel like I gotta keep saying this right here. Just because I just said that they might still care about you, does not mean you should go back into the toxicity. This is not the sign that you're looking for. Lee, thank goodness I got up this morning. And I just wanted to hear your video. And I just thought, do they still care about me? And you just said, yes, yeah, so I'm going to go back. No. No. Just because they care about you does not mean you should go back into the toxicity. Just because they may be cared about you does not mean that you should allow them back into your life, into your space, into your and, and to disrupt your peace. Just because they care about you does not mean that you should do things to your own detriment just because they care. You know, just because they care does not mean you should do this type of stuff or say this type of stuff just because they care. It does not mean that you should like you mean this is the this is the factual information. Just because they care does not mean you should go about doing every type of stuff right there. Yo, I'm just being real like you like should not go back to them just because they might care. Just ask yourself what before you decide that right there. Ask yourself, what are they caring about? Are they care? Did they actually care about me? And they are actually going to treat me better? No. Just because they have feelings for you and they might care about you in some way, shape, or form does not mean that they're going to treat you better. They think you belong to them. They care about you sometimes like they care about a toy. They just don't want anybody else to play with the toy, even if they're done with the toy, so to speak. You know, I'm not calling you a toy. I'm just saying if you just – this is me just giving an analogy right here, right? Metaphor, so to speak. Um, but this is the mindset, the mentality of narcissistic people in those situations. Right? And also, like – because they care, like I said, because they care, they're projecting their feelings onto you. Like, well, I still care. I, I, I still think about them. So maybe they're still, that must mean that they're thinking about me. You know, I went and got my tarot cards read, tar tarot, tarot cards read. And they said, your ex still cares about you. And I just, that's all I needed to hear. You know, that's all I needed to hear. It's all I needed to hear. So yeah, this could maybe because they care about you is the reason that they, 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 they think that you still care about them. Another thing, y'all, 
another way the narcissist no think think i'm not saying that you still care y'all like i said let me say this too it doesn't matter if you still if you still care about them it doesn't mean you have to allow them access to, into your life it doesn't mean you have to be with them it doesn't mean you have to be friends with them you can love people from a distance you can care about people from a distance you can care about and love people and not allow them back into your life you understand that right so just get out, get it i had to get out the way you can love and care about people and not allow them into your life so also this is what i was gonna say y'all um another way that they think that you care is because you're reacting to them not only do they have access to you you are giving them some type of reaction this is like say again when i say giving them some type of reaction y'all could be broken up or y'all could still be in the same house y'all could be still living together and trying to work things out and they is they get you they they can get you they can get you to react out of character like this is why i preach and i probably said this a thousand times across all my channels Controlling your reactions is a superpower. Controlling your reactions is absolutely a superpower. You know what I mean? This is the mindset, the mentality, the, the, the dynamic of, of what a lot of people experience right here. But like controlling your reactions can be a superpower right here for you to, to protect you. Not only does it protect you against like being recorded and being painted out to be an abuser or whatever, but it can also protect you from them thinking that you still care about them. You know, oh, because they think they equate you, re your reactions to love. They equate you reacting to them, to you still caring about them. They equate your reactions to them still mattering and them still having a place in your life. That's why I said controlling those reactions is absolutely a superpower. And when I say superpower, this is me telling you that it's not an easy thing to do. Just because it's a superpower does not mean it's an easy thing to do. It shouldn't be an easy thing to do, y'all. This is you working on you. This is you empowering yourself. This is you being as strong as you possibly can. This is you being as strong as you possibly can be. So empower yourself to continue to move forward, to continue to do what you need to do. Or otherwise, like you end up with toxic, narcissistic, abusive people that are going to keep being toxic, narcissistic, and abusive people. Um, or you stay with them. You stay in it. You know, they just assume that you still care because like you are giving them some type of reaction. They assume that you still care because you still you have kids by them. Right. Especially if the kids look like them. They automatically assume that you still care. You must still love me. You can't you can never get over me because we have kids together. I put a baby in and I put a baby in you. Or I had I had your baby. You see what I'm saying? You can't escape me because I have a baby together. We gonna be I'm being your life forever. <laughs> you know. And this is the type this is the type of like the stuff because y'all have kids together, they automatically assume that you're gonna care for care about them forever. Even if you move on, if you even if you're in a new relationship. They think that you still care about them. Narcissists are delusional. Like, this is one reason they, they think you still care is because they are delusional. Like, you know, me too. I can be delusional, delusional as well. But like, narcissistic people tend to be delusional. They tend to just try to make something out of nothing. They see that you like, you might be lo in a loving, caring relationship, like a new, healthy relationship. And they, in their minds, they're convincing themselves that you're faking it and that you, deep down, that you want them back. So sometimes they think that you care. They think that you still care about them because they are delusional as hell. They just assume they're just like you must deal. They, they just kind of get over me. It's fine. I know I'm good. You know what I mean? They ain't gonna do that. They ain't gonna do that to me. You know what I'm saying? That's but this is how things work out. This is how things gotta be right here. Uh, <laughs> but I say that to say this, y'all. Narcissistic people are going to continue to do whatever they want to do. They're going to continue to do whatever they feel like they're empowered to do. They're going to continue to do whatever they feel like. Is that you know helps them move and helps them work in their best bet? They're going to continue to do whatever they feel like gives them the strong, makes them the strongest, makes them feel the strongest, makes them feel the most in charge. You know, so as long as they think that you still care, they won't leave you alone. And like, like I said, if you're talking to them, if you break no contact, if you're reaching out to them, if you're doing something that you know you shouldn't be doing, they think that you still care about them. You know, if you're reaching out to them, like you're no contact, you've been no contact for two months, and then you just start missing them, your song comes on. Right, and Mariah Carey, when I left, I lost a part of me. And you just start singing that song, scream singing that song. Look, you sing that song so loud, your phone calls your ex. You see what I'm saying? Your phone, you be like, it's still so hard to believe. Your phone like, dude, baby, baby, we belong together, baby. Your phone like, calling baby. Calling ex, your ex, baby. What? No, Siri, no, no. You see what I'm saying? You, <laughs> I know this sounds stupid. But yeah, I was just telling you, I just got to give y'all an inside scoop of a narcissist's mind. So if you're doing any of these behaviors, they think that you still care about them. And the more that they think you still care, 
the more that they won't leave you alone. You know, some narcissists won't leave you alone regardless because they, 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 whether you care or not, they have this possessive mindset where they would just refuse to leave you alone. And sometimes you have to force them to leave you alone. But the ones that do think that you care, they'll try to wear you down. They just will. They'll try to wear you down. They'll try to beat you down emotionally. They'll try to get back into your life. They'll just try to exhaust you until you just give in to their demands. Just like give in. Make it, it makes it make it easy on yourself. Just give in to my demands. Give me what I want. Them, them cheeks, and we're gonna be fine again. You know, don't give in, y'all. You have to keep fighting. You have to keep when I say fighting, it doesn't mean arguing. You know, if you are arguing with them, they think you still care. So it's just like anything outside the norm, and sometimes even in, inside the norm makes them think that you still care about them and a lot of times if they think you still care they will refuse to allow you to have peace outside of the relationship outside of the space you know you know what i'm just saying like you keep working on yourself keep powering it up and you're like i feel like you'll be fine yeah most of y'all be fine most the ones that don't join my support group the mental healers and let's chat i got a bunch of messages in my support group i gotta respond to anyway um me anyway, y'all thank you for tuning into another episode i appreciate every single one of y'all I love that the fact that y'all have been rocking with me on YouTube for almost three and a half years. This is crazy, yo. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel. If you've been following me this long, you haven't subscribed to the channel. Follow my other channel, Lee Actions. And as always, y'all, Mental Healers is out. Peace. Thank you so much for making it to the end of my video. I am extremely grateful for you have no idea. If you haven't already, make sure you go ahead and subscribe to the channel. It helps reach more people and click on the screen to watch another video or to browse through another playlist. There's also a link on the screen to check out my courses and my support groups to help you heal and understand what you've been through. Thank you so much again. I will see you in the next video.